Time for an upgrade in the man cave. I have had this little Suwaki 400 watt hour um, solar generator for five years. And it's just not enough to handle my laptop in here, you know, cause it's getting old. It just doesn't hold the charge like it used to. It, you know, even running 20 watts on it, it's dead in two hours. And it used to last like eight or six or over, you know, a long time. So I think it's time for an upgrade. Got ourselves a Lee Time 30 amp amp and PG controller. Some wires from the local solar place. From there, I bought the inverter. Then we got the Lee Time battery itself 230 um, amp hours. So. Let's get this stuff unboxed and hooked up. Oh, this paperwork comes in a fancy little case. Neat. There's the battery out of the box. Man, that sucker's huge. Oh, I'm excited. Wow, even the charge controller is huge. The inverter. Yeah, there we go. I was surprised it had a 95% charge on it. Yeah, so I got it all hooked up. Computer's running great. That one's not totally out of commission because I still got to buy like a, you know, AC to USB adapter. So I'll use this one for USB until I get one and it'll hold until I get one. Uh, there's what I came up with. Um, once I do drywall in here, I'll have to put like some, you know, two by fours behind there where the screws got to go. So I can mount it to the walls in the future. But that's what I came up with for now. Works perfectly. Sitting on the studs. You can go in here and check your options. Says 95% right now. I'm gonna test it tonight and uh, see how much uh, it comes down. Only thing I don't like about it, this charge controller, even with the Bluetooth app, you cannot see incoming watts. It just gives you incoming volts. So, yeah, there's that. Um, to finish the upgrade, I wanna change the cheap little, there's two 100 watt solar panels up there. I wanna replace those with uh, 250 watts in the future. That'll have to wait until uh, I pay this off. <laughs> yeah. So far a minute, almost 1500 bucks, but yeah, it's just a start. Then we can start um, wiring everything and get wire in here, get our outlets in here. I just gotta figure out how to make a connection to this, but I'm sure I'll figure something out. <laughs> it's probably not to code, but it'll work. You know, and get a real light up in there. Get some insulation in here so we can keep this battery warm. That'll be the next mission. Happy fourth anniversary of homesteading. <laughs> in our fifth year now. I can't believe it's been that long. Man, time flies. Time really flies. But yeah, finally got some things done in here. Uh, got a, finally got a circuit breaker in there. We got our outlets in. There's one back here and it's the one with the, uh, USB ports in it so I can charge a phone. Installed an HDMI thing there. That way, one day in the future, I'm gonna be able to connect my computer to that. And on this wall, installed an outlet and the other side of the HDMI up here. That way, you get it. Big TV going there to watch movies and whatnot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, screensaver's on. So now I finally get to dig out all my equipment that's been sitting in the RV for so long. I never had enough power to run this stuff. Got my gaming keyboard, my big gaming monitor, my speakers, my mixer. A lot of power now. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. And then when the weather's really bad, which is about after four days of bad weather we've had this winter in a row, Finally, the battery died and I had ordered this so I can charge it off of a generator. Um, and this is the generator I had to get because my gas one, um, just Harbor Freight piece of junk, don't buy them. Uh, I decided to go with ALP. This is an all propane generator. I love it. I don't have to deal with bad gas or have to clean it out when I'm not using it. I just disconnect it from the propane tank and I'm ready to go. And it's enough to get that charged up and get my battery system. Um, I'm back up and running. I freaking love this. You don't know how long I've been sitting there with a small screen um, on a phone or even a laptop. It's just nice to sit here and, and just have this big old thing in your face. You know? Oh, it's so nice to be able to 
game again. Um, eventually I'll get my microphone. I need, I couldn't find my stand. I don't know what happened to it. My microphone stand to uh, maybe get back into live streaming, but I got to hardwire the Starlink to the start. You know, I got to trench uh, some cable so it's hardwired in here, not Wi-Fi. Decided to do this with some curtains to kind of hide the, uh, the tools and all the shelving that was back here. So it looks pretty good. Kind of gives it a nice background. So if I'm live streaming, got a nice little background there. And it just looks nice in here. And I'm thinking after uh, I drywall it, I might do it a little bit more for soundproofing um, around the entire room. I'm thinking of doing like a, what do you call it, a, sh a shiplap, the wooden planks for, this, for the ceiling. Drywall the walls. And that's pretty much the plan. But first of all, the weather's getting nice outside. So I've got to finish the metal roofing and the siding. Siding, I'm going to do rusted corrugated metal on this building. I think it'll look good. Got a little place to keep my drinks, my old uh, van life uh, fridge there. Yeah, so it's turning out great. Oh, and this light, it's got to be one of those fun little fancy ones. So with an app, I can change the brightness in here. Dim it down in here. Ooh, that looks really good. Probably should have dimmed it down to make the white balance a little better on the camera. Can just the brightness we can go to color mode if we want to we can make it green in here yeah it's green in here well it doesn't really do it much justice on camera or we can go to this mode and it will slowly cycle through the colors like orange red green I really like this mode at night when I'm watching a movie yeah there's the upgrade there. Go ahead and bring your light back in. Okay. Come on. Ah, a little bit of a delay there. It's, it's Bluetooth controlled, not Wi-Fi. I could connect it to the Wi-Fi, but yeah, I don't need it. And then there's something special in here. I gotta show you that in the next clip. But there it is. There's the upgrade, man. It's coming along great. I'm loving it. It feels good to have a man cave again. It's been over six, maybe seven years since I've had a man cave and an office set up. So there's this other homesteading channel I watch called Two Rebels Off Grid. And they did a video previously about naming a goat. Which I actually don't remember which video it was now. It's somewhere in here. But they had a little goat that was born on Valentine's Day and I suggested the name Valentine for the name of the goat. And I got my name chosen. I, I officially have a goat named after me. Well, not after me, but I named a goat out there in uh, YouTube land. And I said I won a prize and I wonder what it is. Well, actually I already know what it is because they sent an email kind of spoiling it. So there's gonna be like no surprise here. Oh, look at that. Looks even better in person than it did in the pictures. It's got their website on it. Logo on the other. Is this metal? Yeah, it's metal. That's really neat. I want to enjoy that. Ready for my coffee in the morning? Or my tea? I've been drinking tea, kind of trying to get off the caffeine. But uh, yeah, that's really neat. Thank you. Thank you, Two Rebels Off Grid. I want to enjoy a lot of hot drinks in that. Thank well, there you have it, P folks. The new lead time battery upgrade for the man cave, my office, was a success. Yes. So I'm going to end this one here because it's been a while since I uploaded a video and this video has been overdue. So we'll see what happens. Maybe now that I got a setup in here, it'll encourage me to do more videos. We'll see how the summer goes because there's a lot of projects to get done around this place. We got to get it done before uh, the next winter hits. So, this has been Anthony from Anthware, and from this time and every time on, folks, keep on clicking. Anthony from Anthware, signing off.